Hello, it's nice to be here with you, Beasel. Now, let's take a look at what Paula White has to say. She's using uh, scriptures that have to do with the triumphal entry of Jesus into Jerusalem. Tell somebody my Palm Sunday praise is about to pay off. Hosanna! 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 He's coming! He's coming! He's coming! I feel it! I've seen it! I've heard it! Hosanna! 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 Okay, so she's using Matthew 21 and John 12. Let me read you John 12. It's the more succinct uh, passage here. The next day, the large crowd that had come to the feast heard that Jesus was coming to Jerusalem. So they took branches of palm trees and went out to meet him, crying out, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, even the King of Israel. And Jesus found a young donkey and sat on it just as, as it is written. And this is from Zechariah 9, 9. Fear not, daughter of Zion. Behold, your king is coming, sitting on a donkey's colt. Let's see what she says next. Now, Basil, that sounded quite a bit like gibberish to me. They had heard that he had given this miraculous gift. Went out to meet. There's that word again. They went out to have an encounter mm -hmm, with time, with place, and with results. Now, what she's referring to is Jesus having raised Lazarus from the dead and uh, that word spreading that this marvelous prophet had done this miracle. And she's saying that, that the people went out to meet Jesus as he was coming into the city. That word meet there, we find in another place in scripture, in um, 1 Thessalonians 4.17, uh, then we who are alive, who are left, will be caught up together, that's rapture actually, uh, with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. Now I'm not going to get eschatological on you here and try to figure out whether this means the rapture or actually the second coming of Christ. That's a different video altogether. But that word meet there is the same word that's being used here. And it really is the Greek word apontesis, which means that it is the special idea of uh, people going out to meet and to uh, provide an official welcome of a newly arriving dignitary. So what she's talking about, uh, time and result, see the result, that should be a, a, a red flag to us, that it's now going to start shifting from the actual narrative of the story to something that is subjective and almost um, Gnostic, some kind of secret uh, understanding of the scripture, and most really if you come down to the bottom line, it's narcissistic. It is no longer about Jesus, his person and work, his declaring his messiahship and his kingly right to the throne of David, but it's about you. It's narcissistic. Well, I'm getting ahead of myself because I'm about to take you out of time into eternity. You're about to have an encounter with your results. Somebody look at your neighbor, slap them upside the head and say, Hosanna. It says that they took the branches of palm trees and went forth to meet him to get an encounter for their results and cried, Hosanna, blessed is the king of Israel that cometh in the name of the Lord. Now the reason that this is so vital for you to understand is because Hosanna is a peculiar phrase that had never been mentioned prior to this. Now, I'm sorry, Darwin, did I just hear that right? I am afraid you did, Basil. There is something coming to you today that you have never seen prior to now. There is something getting ready to manifest in your life right now because your Palm Sunday praise is about to hit this house that has never been seen before because here's what happened. Hosanna was a word that had never been recorded before that time. Now, I'm sorry. The Hebrew word Hosanna is composed of two words. It means save us, we pray. Save Save us, we beseech you. In uh, Psalms 118, uh, let's, let's back up a little bit. Uh, this is uh, verse 22. The stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. Who does, who does that remind you of? Uh, Peter talks about that, right? Jesus Christ. Uh, this is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Save us, we pray, O Lord. 
The Lord, we pray, give us success. That is Hosanna. That is Hosanna translated for us from the Hebrew into Greek, now into English. Hosanna. It's been around for quite a while. I'm not exactly sure why she's saying what she's saying. Oh, but perhaps it's trying to make the point she wants to make and not the point that the Holy Scripture is trying to make. Save now! Save now! And that means complete deliverance now! Sozo now! Rescue now! Be made whole now! Put it back together now! Deliver now! Do the work now! Open the door now! So when you begin to say Hosanna, all of hell begins to tremble because the moment that your spirit comes in alignment, come on, with your Hosanna, you are pulling out of eternity the results that have already been established for you and you are about to mess up some religious minds because they don't care about your hallelujah because that's the things in the past, but they are scared of your Hosanna. And there you go. It's no longer about Jesus. It's no longer about his person and work, about his having set his face towards Jerusalem, towards the cross, having now humbly declared his, messiah, his messiahship and kingship, uh, having been rejected by his people just days later and dying on the cross for sinners. It's now about a word that has power. Hosanna now is kind of like an abracadabra that's going to give the Christian power. So Paula has turned the very narrative of the Son of God coming to save his people from their sins into magic, into some sort of mystical alchemy. I hear a Hosanna visiting your drug addicted son. I hear a Hosanna visiting your bankruptcy. I hear a Hosanna visiting your cancer ridden body. I hear a Hosanna visiting your deranged mind, your tormented mind. I hear a Hosanna hitting your marriage. I hear a Hosanna. If you can see what I can see, I see chains falling off. I see every time you say Hosanna, that eternity is releasing your destiny. I hear it. I see a door that just opened for you. I see your family member just got saved. I see something just got established in an earthly realm that's always been in a spirit. Hosanna! And now, sadly, she's moved out of the realm of preacher altogether and entered into the realm of super apostle, of some type of mystical clairvoyant that can see things no one else can see. I want to leave you with the words of Paul in Romans chapter 16 when he says, I appeal to you, brothers, to watch out for those who cause divisions and create obstacles contrary to the doctrine that you have been taught. Avoid them, for such persons do not serve our Lord Christ but their own appetites, by smooth talk and flattery, they deceive the hearts of the naive. Amen, Basil, and may they not be deceived any longer. <laughs>